Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a little while. Um, we are still getting our asses kicked by Austria-Hungary and still somehow winning the war. Um, I apologise for the gap between uploads, but uh, the joy of living between two construction sites is that you have to pick and choose the days you can actually record very carefully. Um, I will just look over our fleet here for a minute. Um, a lot of our destroyers ended up pretty badly damaged, so we may have to send a few in. Um, I will send the Belliers. Hmm. Yep, they'll, they'll, they'll arrive this month. Uh, where is it? The Mediterranean. There we go. And we've still got a few more out there, and... okay. Excellent. Uh, so we still have a number of submarines ready to go. Uh, we have the Marengo Leons. That's about to come back to shape. Uh, I am disappointed with the performance of the 12-inch gun so far. Um, so we did uh, end up... That's right, we did commission them. Um, we did commission uh, the Picard class of the quad turrets, uh, only 14 inches, okay. And the Lils, who will be our battle cruisers. I may commission uh, one more class of battleship um, as, uh, as a, a budget option, um, because we will be rebuilding the French fleet for the next decade. Um, as long as we can avoid going to war for anyone else, we should be okay. Ooh, <laughs> what do you know? Uh, we will take the Navy can fight on if needed. Oh, the politicians have screwed it up once again. Ah, here we go. Enables CV conversions. Another destroyer action. Uh, well, we better accept. Oh, uh, yo! <laughs> uh, yeah, that was um, unexpected. I need a sip of coffee after that. What the hell? What the hell happened there? Hmm. Ooh, I'm just looking at. We never completed converting half of these tages, did we? Um, a shame. We'll have to get back onto that. to take place in Hungary. Good, the uh, naval blockade is working. Uh, so, condenser trouble. So, if a, if a ship is um, out raiding and it has condenser trouble, it may end up being interned. But because all of, we, all of our ships operating in places where we have ports, the ships are just turning up to port and they spend a month um, getting fixed up. Uh, I will say we can get with less resources from oh yes excellent yes excellent so we will we'll have to uh, modify our next battleship designs uh, oh Ooh. so six to nine Hmm, this could get interesting real fast. Well, we will accept, and this may be a case where the French fleet will just simply turn around and, and fly, it would sail back to where they have the advantage. Um, okay, what is this? These are least heavy cruisers. Um, Uh, oh, little wasp, hello. That must be a little wasp. Yep, hello, little wasp, how are you? Uh, I want you to go to AI control. Um, and we will have the fleet steam north. Uh, 
Kassad, oh, Fien and Luca. What are you doing? You are scouting for the Leon. Uh, go to AI control. Go to screen. Just bring uh, bring our forces in a little bit. Oh, Chansey. Chansey is still up. Interesting. Uh, go to screen for the Chansey. And what are you doing, Islay? You are scouting for the Leon as well. Okay, go to go to screen then. And that that whole fleet should begin turning its way north. We'll send uh, Chansey to that side of the island. Our heavy cruisers. Uh, I will change what our light cruisers are doing. I want you to go to screen. Uh, go to 20 knots, Torville, go to 20 knots, team, and begin rolling north. And we'll just let this play out a little bit longer. Yep. I was right about them being heavy cruisers, not actual battleships. Looks like there's a few light cruisers there as well. Uh, which one's 12? Well, as long as they... Okay, they're heading away from the enemy. Chansey appears to be trying to engage them all by herself. Uh, Tourville, is that you shooting? It is. Hmm. Just keep it up with, with that. Um, I don't see her doing any serious damage at this range, but they are shooting at our light cruiser, so we may just turn and give them a bit of a bit of second thoughts. Got the range in. Actually, what are the you armed with? You armed with 10 inch. Okay. They appear to have had enough already. Uh, what is that report? That one was. Oh, that's a scout from the Little Wasp. And that's also a scout from the Little Wasp reporting the, uh, the free heavy cruisers we are engaged with currently. Um, a destroyer seems to have gotten, suic gotten uh, suicidally close. We, uh, know how this tends to go. Chansey, can I convince you to... No. You are still independent. It's maybe the end of the Chansey if she doesn't change course in a minute. However, however we will see. I'm hoping that we... Apparently we do not have any aircraft around. Alright. I am sure we had We have batteries, we have an airbase, we have aircraft flying in cap. And there are our airships on recon. May lose, we may lose a light cruiser here. Um, she seems to be steaming back to port. Very well. 
Um, I may have to send the Tourville down south just to stop the Chansey from doing anything particularly stupid. I would like the rest of the rest of the cruisers to go down there as well. Forbin, what do you see? Something looks like destroyers. No, those are those heavy cruisers. So they did not. I thought they would pull away to the east, but they have gone south instead. No. Oh. Shanzi, have you decided to rejoin? No, you're engaging them by yourself. Alright, Shanzi, can I take command of you now? No. Airship is just flying casually overhead. Chansey is not interested. In fact, Chansey wants to engage three times her own number. Curse me that Bruguette was way too much of a French name to be allowed to stand. I might have to change that. Uh, we will change the heading of some of these battleships. The French Navy has learned many lessons. Oh, little Wasp is recovering her aircraft. Uh, what? Hmm. It's probably a destroyer, but... And they've just misidentified it. Um, I would like to take command of the Chansey again. Uh, I suppose go to core. Stop being independent. In fact, maybe... Join the... Battle Division, Battle Division, Battle Cruiser. Where is the Battle Cruiser Division? I'll go to and uh, go to screen. Hmm. There she goes. She's starting to follow orders. We will let the heavy cruisers escape first, and Torva will bring up the rear with her superior speed. Oh, a little submarine is hanging around there at the moment, I'm not sure what he's up to. Uh, airships are turning around, coming for home. Does that mean night's about to fall? And Four hours or so. Okay, so they're heading home for the night. Right. Alright. Oops, wrong button. And we will just up the speed a little bit. I don't think the Austrians are that interested in fighting either. Um, otherwise, we probably would have run into their battleships. I think they were scouting around with their with their heavy cruisers. Um, trying to see what they could find. We may need to invest in more air bases. I thought I already had one at Sfax and Tunis. Uh, but we will, we will invest in some more. I do know we have some on the southern coast. Uh, I would have loved a few more years 
um, to prepare <laughs> for this war. Um, having half the fleet be coal and half the fleet be oil is very uh, disruptive to some of our operations, but um, you know, we will make do. Yeah, we're starting to lose sight and they're starting to join with their commands. So we're just gonna casually steam like nothing oh, nothing has gone wrong. Because nothing has gone wrong, we haven't lost anything today. We we have not had a repeat of the last battle of Sicily. Um, yeah, not a successful mission, but not a mission that we, where we have bled any particular uh, any particular units. I may head back to port. In fact, uh, I know she has limited her flooding. She's doing okay. I was going to say we did have that light cruiser that got hit a few times. I can't pronounce that name, whatever that is. <laughs> so. Yeah, that, that will be the end of that. Um, we'll head into port and see what happens. And if they hang around in the, in the morning, maybe some of our aircraft will come and get them. Uh, yes. So they'll all just trickle in. Yep. Yep, okay. And just go to ultra fast and wait for the end of the scenario. Our ship has to be. Oh, our submarine. SSC what? Has. Aviation ship. Well, it was only a heavy damage, not a sinking. I think. That looks like it's on the heavy damage side. Um. We did do a fair number on one of their cruisers, and they did a fair number of one of our light cruisers, so... Hmm... Well, the joys of having uh, submarines, I guess. I pity Franlin didn't manage to do anything. Yep, they sent out the whole fleet. Okay. So they were looking for it. They were probably going to try and wait and see if we hang, hung around. Um, and see if they could do a repeat for the night battle. Maybe they've got night training. I'm not sure. Because they did remarkably well in the last night fight. Yep, so we run won a moderate amount of points. We are losing a fair bit of money. Um, most of that will stop. What are we building on the coast? Zara, Dakar... So we don't... Uh, we don't actually have one at Twax, okay. Well, we, we will start building. Building... So we have an airbase at Tunis. Uh, we will build an airbase... at Swax. I hope that's how you pronounce it, otherwise I'm probably sounding like an absolute fool to any French listeners. Um, doesn't help our financial situation, but uh, the French Navy has enough to last for now. Go to the next month. Excellent. Ooh. Uh, do we wish to start a uh, revolution? Um... We'll continue with this for now. Enables aircraft catapults, so we can... Ooh. Now put aircraft catapults on CVs. Um, I'm not going to do what I had planned to do... yet. Ooh, convoy defense. Um... Hmm. An, an armored... okay. 
I, I thought so. Uh, enemy Austria Hungary. Only six of our battleships will turn up. Okay. Uh, well, we better accept. Oh, no, they have declined. Um, well, we will decline this one. Syracuse. Um, but we have a superior cruiser, so I'm willing to take that fight. What do we have? We have the Tourville and the Ablox. Ablox? I'm concerned that the Tourville has turned up. It means they may have battle cruisers of their own. Um, and we are beyond uh, the range of our friendly aircraft. Go to 20 knots. Turn around. What is your max speed? 22? Okay, go to 20. So far, only CAs. Uh, hold fire just for 10 minutes. Uh, and go to your max. Okay, so I go to... Go to 24. 24 will be fast enough. Twenty-eight knots. Okay, so they're actually faster than two of them. Um, marginally. Uh, what are you on with six inches? Okay, so six inches. Um, isn't really enough to sink a heavy cruiser, particularly a heavily armored one. Oh, she has enough power to get through most of that. Um, but it is enough to cause some serious damage. That was part of the reason why you began to see, um, during the treaty here, a lot of 6-inch cruisers turn up. The theory was that an 8-inch cruiser would have the advantage only on the first salvo, um, because of the superior range, and then the 6-inch cruiser would be able to get into range and just hammer the enemy ship with... Um, with a much higher rate of fire. Um, of course, damage might not be entirely fatal, but uh, it would be enough to damage the enemy ship and probably drive it back into port. Uh, and uh, for a enemy raider, that would be a mission over. Oops, our cruiser has... Oh, she will. Uh, I would like to press the engagement just a little. Since we have the advantage. Here we go. Oh, night's beginning to fall, so we will actually exit. Uh, the French Navy, after the last time, the French Navy is... Uh, Damaged. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so they will get away this time, I suppose. Um, we'll slow down to 20 knots. Military speed. And go down to cruise. And we will just make our own way back to port. Hopefully the scenario will end shortly. Hmm. I was hoping for something a little bit more decisive, but night fell and, well, there's not much we can do about that. Uh, we could have... Oh, we did manage to heavily damage one of them. Um, again, not as decisive as I would have hoped. Um, I would have loved to have knocked out at least one heavy cruiser. Uh, but we take what we can get. They didn't even get a hit on us. That was how one side of that engagement went.
Uh, I would like this war to end. Has been a complete success. Well done, boys. Well done. Oh, and our our battleship is back up. Uh, do I lose prestige for taking this one? Um, yep. Yeah, uh, they have nothing that they can give us. Uh, yep. So we will just take the budget. All right. So the war is over. Now we have to look at reconstruction. That may wait till next episode because we're 25 minutes in and I try and keep these to about half an hour. But we'll just take a look here real quick. Uh, at what we have. Hmm. We may have to put some of our older ships, like the Redoubtables, into uh, into reserve. Unfortunately, the Cayman suffered heavily, so I may have to. Uh, we will uh, be naming another ship the Gunsight One. Uh, but for now, we will put the two Redoubtables into uh, reserve. Uh, we will put a lot of destroyers into reserve, particularly our older ones. So the Kakwa is our oldest. Um, yeah, they will. They will go into mothball. Oops, so we can't put the... Ah, right. So we can't put them into mothball status because they are not in our home base area. Um, we'll bring them to the Mediterranean and we'll put them in mothball there. I do have... Yep, we have corvettes in the Mediterranean, yep. We have corvettes in the Indian Ocean, and do we have corvettes in West Africa? No, so we will need to build some. In the meantime, we'll move these to the Mediterranean. Yep. And we'll just put them under mothball there. Um, it will take a long time for these ships to clear, but when they do, we will continue building. And we also have those submarines as well. Uh, I would like to continue building the submarines. We may scrap some of our older coastal submarines. They only cost 20 to keep, but, uh, ooh. No, okay. We are lacking ships on foreign station. Who is on foreign station? Cosmel? Uh, that's because you went to active fleet. Right. Go to foreign station. Oh, did we lose a Cosmel? We did lose a Cosmel during the war. Oh. That is almost heartbreaking. Um, our next generation of cruisers probably will replace um, our foreign service cruisers. They will be smaller, um, but that's simply so because because foreign cruisers don't need to be as technologically advanced. Um, and you know the the Cosmos really are kind of <laughs> showing their age quite badly now. Uh, and we do have to complete the upgrade on the Cargets. Um our Romanches we may refit as well. Um, and if we do build a second Aramanches, we may uh, we may retire the Little Wasp. Actually, no, we need to refit the Little Wasp with catapults, that's what we need to do. 
and we also want uh, Bronin to be a our CV, if that can happen. Captured ships can be a little bit odd. If I can't turn the Kantian into a carrier, uh, I will... The next ship I, I build will probably be a, another conversion, and will be a uh, carrier. And with that, I will catch you all next time. Uh, ciao.